Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So England are out of the World Cup. Yes, France have beat England 2-1 thanks to Olivier Giroud's second half goal, but also Harry Kane missing his second penalty of the game and sending it out of the stadium. It was a horrible, horrible penalty from Harry Kane and England have crashed out. And whilst Harry Kane's penalty will possibly be spoken about an awful lot. The referee's performance will also be spoken about an awful lot. I don't think you can blame England going out of the World Cup on that. If you're relying just on penalties to beat France, then you've got a problem. I know France are a very good side. They're a very dogged side. Although Upper Meccano was all over the place today. If your only real goal opportunities are coming from Harry Kane penalties, a Harry Maguire header which clips the post and a Rashford free kick at the end, then you've got problems. And with the amount of attacking talent that England have, whilst France would be deemed probably favourites pre-tournament, you know, uh, within England versus France game, I would deem them favourites. This is a France side without Benzema, without Kante, without Pogba, um, and an England team with a whole load of talent. And I do feel, when you consider the amount of talent that England have, that they have probably, no, in fact, they have definitely played within themselves. And I was kind of saying it during the whole Nations League thing. I know the country's been swept up in England doing well in the previous two tournaments. Although, you could probably argue they should have beaten Croatia and they should have beaten Italy. But getting to a World Cup, uh, sorry, a Euros final and a World Cup semi-final is pretty good. And it's hard to criticise for that. But I thought it was clear in the Nations League run that England weren't really developing any style of play. They weren't really developing any system that would get the best out of their attacking players. And they were more concerned about being defensively sound than being an, a side that could open up a little bit attacking. Now, I know a lot, of, a lot of international teams do that. And you could argue France have been quite successful doing that. But if England just had a bit more today, look at the way Upper Meccano was playing at the back. Uh, Hernandez was worried throughout the game on a yellow card. I feel like England should be creating more chances. And that comes from the failure, in my opinion, to experiment a little bit more in the Nations League. England played pretty much full strength, got beat, went out with a whimper, didn't really prepare for the World Cup. And now they've gone out. The penalty from Harry Kane was a shocker, an absolute shocker. And I think the referee's performance was poor. But ultimately, France deserved to go through. In the first half, I thought France deserved their lead. It was a great goal by Chouamani, a fantastic strike by him. You could argue it should have been a foul on Saka in the build-up. But that foul on Saka, if he makes a bit more of it, maybe he gets it. But you shouldn't be asking for the player to have to make more of it to get a foul. You know what I mean? It was a foul. The player hacked at him a couple times. But after that, after that's not given, there's so much play. And England's defence, uh, if you watch it back, and Declan Rice... They're just all over the place. Like they're getting pulled here, there and everywhere. And when the ball comes out to Chiuamani, no one's closing him down. Bellingham's too late. The shot gets through his legs. It's a goal. You could argue Pickford needs to do better. Um, and whilst I think, all right, maybe you should have a foul on Saka. There's a long way to go after that. Um, and there's also a lot of talk about Mbappe. When you've got so many other problems in this France side. The likes of Dembele. The likes of Chouamani, whilst I don't think anyone would have really had him down to score the first goal, still a very good player. Giroud. All the talk was about Mbappe. Far too much. Then you have a possible penalty incident in the first half. Kane's brought down by Upper Meccano, again, who had a poor game. He probably fouled Saka in the build-up to the goal. That penalty, if it's in the box, it's a penalty, but I'm still not sure whether it's in the box. If it's in the box, though, it's a penalty. But like I said, you can't be relying on winning three penalties to win a game. Every single like, you know what I mean? And I thought the ref was pretty poor. But in the first half, um, and I thought the ref was pretty poor for both teams. But in the first half, France were the better side. Um, despite Upper Meccano trying to do his better to, to, to make it 1-1. Um, and they win in 1-0. England did get better towards the end of the first half though. They settled a little bit, which is what was needed. Maybe that was France taking their foot off the gas pedal a little bit. Then in the second half, Saka's fouled by Chouamani. This one's definitely given. Um, it was a clear foul. Kane bouts the penalty home. 1-1. He goes level with Wayne Rooney in the goal-scoring charts, I think. He was on around the 53rd minute as well, funnily enough. 
And then we saw Mbappe put the burners on Walker. That was probably the best bit of play we saw from Kylian Mbappe. The cutback, the pass, you know, no one really there to get the effort away. France didn't score. Maguire hits the post with England's best chance apart from the, set, uh, the, the, the two penalties. Um, a good header from him, maybe a little bit behind him, he gets his header away. And then, sorry, actually, we had the Saka chance just after that, where you could argue he's done really well to get on the on the goal side of Hernandez. But once he has, he has to score and it's gone wide. Um, so, fair enough. But then I looked at that goal where Saka's coming in and Harry Kane stood next to Harry Maguire. What's he doing there? Getting the box? Because if that comes to you, you probably score. Having said that, we have seen his penalty. Um, but after that, uh, Saka chance, which went wide, um, which he probably should have... He did really well to get in front, but he probably should have scored. Um, but again, two penalties, two chances. That's it. Like, did England create much else outside of that? Not really. Um, then we have a Giroud chance, um, which he hits. The save looked really good from Pickford, but it was kind of down the middle. If he doesn't save it, you've got to question yourself. He did well to get it out wide. Then he does his usual thing of shouting at everyone. Focus, bruv. Because you're going to have to face something in a minute. And guess what happens? Another Giroud header. A couple of, like, about 60 seconds later. And you're picking up out the net. Just relax. You made a save. Well done. Focus on the next one. Why are you screaming, going all mad, being his passion merchant? Just chill out. Lost his focus, maybe. I don't know. But Giroud scored. It was a great cross from Griezmann. The ball comes out. Then we see a few changes. And again, half the question, Gareth Southgate. Sterling and Mount come on for Saka and Henderson. Henderson going off. All right, fair enough. But how is Rat Sterling's been in London all week. All right, I sympathise with the reasons why he was there. But he's been in London all week. Rashford's got three goals this tournament. You're not bringing him on. What's going on there? I think Southgate's a clown, personally. Then we get another penalty on the 82nd minute. Foul on Mount. Clear foul. He was never getting the ball, so I don't know why Hernandez has done it. And that's the only reason why Hernandez wasn't sent off because it wasn't deemed a clear goal scoring opportunity um, because of the fact Mount wasn't getting the ball. It was like way over him. So the foul was really stupid. Done England a favour. Harry Kane has a penalty. I was sitting there thinking, goal. Harry Kane don't miss. Jesus, did he miss. He absolutely rocketed it out of the stadium. That would have been Rooney's record as well for England top goal scorer. Um, and as someone who loves Wayne Rooney, kind of glad he didn't get it, but bloody hell. You want to see that nestling in the back of the net and England going to extra time? And it... Pfft, absolute shocker. But again, players miss penalties. And whilst we wouldn't have expected Harry Kane to miss a penalty, players miss penalties. And you shouldn't be relying on penalties to win a game. Um, because what if we went... What if it was, you know, nil-nil all game, we go to penalties? Then you're saying, why haven't we created anything? And I don't think England created enough outside of that. France, you look at the goal for Chiromani, you look at Giroud's couple of chances that, you know, eventually, you know, cracked the net. They had a bit more about them. Um, and I think it's a missed opportunity for England. Um, and maybe it's the end of Saturday. Look, I don't think you need to just go. Uh, I think France, you know, probably favourites to go through. One of the favourites to win the to tournament. But the talent England have, you need a coach who's going to get the best out of them. Do you know what I mean? Um, and personally, I, need to, I don't, don't think Southgate is that guy. But anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. France are through to play Morocco. Argentina will play Croatia. We could have got like England, Portugal or, you know, <laughs> you know France, Portugal and... Brazil, Argentina, but it's been shaken up well and truly by Croatia and Morocco. I am now fully on board the Morocco train. I want them to win it. I really do. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Keep it locked. See you in a bit.